This video will cover Pseudomonas. This is a highly tested bug with a lot of information and associations, so this video is going to be a little longer. The drawing will be a little behind the scenes story about a woman very much like Mona Lisa. She is like Mona Lisa, but not quite the masterpiece herself. So her name is Pseudomona. And this story will be about some suitors who have taken a fancy to our Pseudomona, so we've titled it The Suitors of Pseudomona. As we're drawing the background, you'll notice the reddish hues we've used. This will help you remember that Pseudomonas is gram negative. Let's start off by drawing a red bathtub in the middle of the room. This tub will help you remember a lot of overall concepts, so it's a good place to start. The redness of the tub and its shape will help you remember that Pseudomonas is a gram negative rod. The water in the tub is to make the association that Pseudomonas thrives in aquatic environments. This is why Pseudomonas can cause hot tub folliculitis. I'll talk more about this later, but I wanted to introduce it now so we can put our main character, Pseudomona, inside the bathtub. Here she is, Pseudomona, relaxing in her tub. Yep, this may be a wee bit scandalous. She's completely naked. Well, actually not quite. She still has this fatty blue ring on, which you should recognize as our oxidase positive symbol. Pseudomonas is oxidase positive. It's also catalase positive, so we'll add our cat, our recurring symbol for catalase positive. And remember the association with catalase and chronic granulomatous disease. Pseudomonas is one of those bugs that really put CGD patients at risk. Just keep that in mind. There are a couple really unique identifying features for Pseudomonas that would be a dead giveaway if they gave them to you in a question stem. So we've tried our best to make them stand out. The first unique characteristic of Pseudomonas is that it produces a blue-green pigment when plated. The color comes from pyocyanin and pyoverdin, substances that Pseudomonas produces. In fact, it's produced in such abundance that it may even turn wounds blue. We're going to draw this green residue or buildup on the tub and floor to help you remember this blue and green pigment from pyocyanin and pyoverdin. 